So Meta have introduced a new AI model called Chameleon. So this is not just based on simple text to image model. This is, uh, it can perform multiple tasks. So introducing Chameleon, a more efficient state of the art generative model for text and images. So this is not only a text to image generator, uh, it can perform multiple tasks. So we're gonna look at that task uh, later in the video. So this is the simple prompt, uh, a text prompt. A small cactus wearing a straw hat and neon glasses in the Sahara Desert. And this is the output image. I would say this is not too bad uh, image and this is not too good image. So this is acceptable. Uh, so Chameleon is the first multi-model trained with the recipe adopter from text-only language models, including the large-scale retrieval augmented pre-training stage and second multitask uh, supervised fine-tuning. As I mentioned uh, earlier in the video, it can perform multiple tasks. So I'm going to uh, show you some examples so you guys will better understand with examples. So so first of all, what it can do, a text guided image generation and editing. So this is not, as I mentioned, this uh, this is not just a text to image generator. It is also AI image editor. So this is the example that they have uh, shared. Change the color of the sky to bright blue. Let's say if you upload an image or if you generate an image and ask it to change the color of that sky, so it can change the color of that sky. And if you ask it to change the color of the jacket and whatever thing you want to do. So you can also do image editing uh, just inside of that same AI model. And this is challenging because it requires the model to continuously understand both textual instructions and visual context. So this is something really challenging because we are doing all of these things just inside of one AI model. So then we have the text to image generation. And these are the few examples images that they have shared. So this is the first image of a cactus wearing uh, glasses and hat as we have seen uh, earlier in the video. And then we have the hands and look at this. It did a really good job with the hands. The fingers are fully separated and it looks decent. Uh, I don't know, it could be a cherry picked, but uh, still it did a really good job with the hand. And next we have a simple image of a raccoon. I would say this is not too good quality, but yeah, this is acceptable. Then we have 1991 on a stop sign. So this is the prompt for that. A stop sign in a fantasy style with text 1991. So it means it is also good at text. And then we have the text guided image editing. These are few a few more examples uh, based on that text editing. So this is the input image of this lady. And then it asks it, what would she look like as a bearded man? So now this is the bearded version of that lady and put on a pair of glasses. And then we have the glasses. I would say this is not looking realistic. She should look 100 years old. And now we have the older version of that lady. And the one thing to notice that all of the prompts that they have used here are using the very natural language. So then we have text tasks. So this is not just limited to image generation or image editing. It can also understand the images, what's going on with the image. So this is a really good image of a dog. And then they ask it a question, what is the dog carrying? And it answered that a dog carrying a stick. And then we have the prompt, describe the given image in very fine detail. And now we have the answer from the model. In this image, there is a dog holding a stick in its mouth. There is a grass on the surface. In the background of the image, there are trees. So it provided a really good description. And exactly what's going on with the picture, we have the dog uh, holding stick in its mouth. We have the grass on the uh, ground. And then we have the trees on the back. So this is something that Google Bard can do right now. And one thing to notice that Google Bard is a text-based AI model. And this is also understanding the images. It's also generating the images. So this is something really crazy. And then we have the super resolution results. A steaming cup of coffee with mountains in the background uh, resting during the road trip. And you can see we have the few example images. Uh, these are some really good exam. Uh, these are some really good images. And then we have these images. Just look at this. So these are some images of a turtle. And then we have the images of an elephant under oceans. I would say this, the image quality is really good. This is not bad actually. So in short, this is a complete package of image editing, image generation, and then we can also ask a question about our images. Like we can do anything that we can imagine by just staying in a single AI model. And I'm very excited for this AI model. And one more thing that uh, every meta AI is open source right now. So we can also expect that this AI model will also be an open source model. So there was a quick update about the meta AI. And uh, this is something really new. This is something really big. And I think you guys should definitely know about this. Uh, so that's it from this video. And if you guys want to stay updated what's going in the space of AI, you guys can subscribe Planet AI. And I'll see you in the next one.